Hello everybody, this is uh, Nick Simpson here from webmasterbusinessplan.com and uh, I just wanted to go over a couple things with WordPress. I know a lot of people are using this system and one thing that I've noticed is a common occurrence and also a problem is that a lot of people will set up their WordPress blog with the default configuration and start blogging and uh, and wonder why their page isn't getting indexed right, and they're not getting traffic, and um, you know they're not getting uh, you know listings in search engines specifically. So there's a couple things that you can do right off the bat immediately that will raise your chances in successfully getting listed on Google and other search engines as well. And I wanted to bring these to your attention. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, get logged into a website of mine to show everybody how to do this and the website is called webmasterbusinessplan.com so if you guys are interested in what I got going on you're welcome to go over and check that out as well um, okay let's see now I'm going to resize this uh, really quick here and uh, okay that'll work and this is uh, the dashboard of the, of the newest installation of WordPress, which is 2.7.1 of the standalone WordPress installation, not the multi-user WordPress installation, which there is now. So uh, if you guys are into WordPress, you need to check out BuddyPress, this new social uh, setup that you can use on the multi-user WordPress installs. So that's going to be really cool once that starts going. Anyhow, uh, the first thing you want to look at is going to be, these are all extra things I've added, so don't even pay attention to that. Under settings, if you don't see anything under the word settings, click the little arrow. It's going to show you some more stuff here. Okay, the first thing you want to do, and most likely you have already done during the default installation of WordPress, is adding the blog title. That is important. That's what Google's going to use for the title of your page, so very important. Now, also, this tagline here. A lot of times we'll get indexed and used as the description if you have uh, you know submitted your site before you had any posts because it won't pull the default post from WordPress that everybody in the world has. Um, Google can decide to pull the first text on page which is rather standard depending on how your website is set up it may not so make sure you have this information here. Secondly make sure you set up your time zone. If you're just set to UTC, that's a standard time zone and most likely not the one which your website and you reside in. So give it the correct time zone so when you make posts they show the correct date and time. Otherwise they will not. <clears throat> okay, now, and you change this stuff, hit save, that's all you need to do there. And on to writing under the settings again. We went to general, now we're under writing, okay? Now there's a lot of stuff you can edit in here. Most of this you do not need to change. However, the bottom here, by default, everybody in the world that installs WordPress has this ping service. Now, I don't have time in this video to get into really what a ping service is and how they work. Just understand these feed your blog to RSS, really simple syndication services, and will spread the word about every post you make. So this is critical, 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 guys. You've got to fix this. Uh, if you want the same results as everybody else in the world, leave this one here. If you want um, better results than everyone else in the world, then you need to uh, either A, go to Google and find a good quality ping list, or B, you're welcome, uh, feel free just to contact me here on YouTube or wherever you see my video, and I can give you a list of the ones that I use here, guys. Um, or you can slow the video down and probably read these off, but I could just email that to you if you're interested. Um, and then again, hit save. Now what happens is when you make a post, it sends off to all of these services, guys, okay? Not just that one, it sends it everywhere. Now, there are some excessive ones out there, so make sure you get a quality list, otherwise you may be wasting your time there as well. But you do need to fix that, okay? Uh, reading. Now, this is something that's totally uh, up to you, but I want everybody to understand how this works with the blogging system. If you are using uh, the standard blog style format which means when you write a new post the new post goes to the top of the page and pushes the old post down one and then a new post and pushes down one and then a new post and pushes down one 
Uh, that's how blogs work, guys. Okay. Um, as far as SEO, not really what you want. Okay. Let me tell you why. If you make a new post and it has wonderful content, unique, rich, keyword rich content that a search engine loves and you get ranked well for it and you're number one in Google for what you want to be and you make a new post and all of a sudden you're not in Google okay uh, this happens more frequent than most people understand because that's just the nature of the blog um, your, your content is changing so so does your rankings as well now if you choose here if you opt in to make a static page your home page this gives you control and as far as search engine optimization and getting ranked you want control so by making this static page whatever content you give it here is always going to be on your home page now understand that just because you have a static home page doesn't mean you're number one on Google but if you tweak your home page and you know get some backlinks out there and, and you know get on the social sites and you get number one on Google the odds of you staying ranked highly on Google are are excessively higher by using the static page so think about it play with it check it out I think you're gonna like it do what you do there save okay and one last thing this is the most important thing we got guys you have to do this change from default which gives your page a number to month and name or you can remove the month and just have the name and I want to show you what that does it gives your page a real name up here at the top. I'm going to click on free marketing e-course and as you see the title is free marketing internet marketing e-course otherwise that'd just be a number and that's no good for SEO okay so um, these are just some things that you need to change and if you don't you're not being penalized you're just not uh, reaping the benefits of doing so if you'd like more information on how to make your blog successful and get ranked better please visit my website webmasterbusinessplan.com thanks guys